Welcome back everyone to the complete fine leaf. I am here with the master artist to find out what she needs. This city may not be as bright as it once was, but it still is strong. I'm upset. Why do you ask? Nasty orcs are going to get into the city and the first thing they will do is destroy my artwork. I and my assistants have been creating beautiful paintings documenting this great city. If they're ruined, so dies the history of Minas Tirith. Now, perhaps you could help me out. I need you to find the perfect hiding place for my greatest works of art. There are a few locations that I hear might be ideal, but I need someone to scout them out for me. What do you say? Will you help me protect the city's rich history? Okay. I suspect that if the orcs get this far up into the city, I have a feeling they are going to somehow ruin where ruin the arts works no matter where you put them but that's just my opinion now where shall we check question is where are these nice hiding spots located how about back down here I think is one of them looks like someone already took this location to hide some of their swords here <laughs> Well, it looks like she's not the only artist who is seeking places to hide things. How about down this way? Hmm. This location looks suitable for hiding valuables. Really? Really? It's visible! <laughs> ah! This poet has attracted my attention. I wonder what he needs. Does he need somebody to hide his best poems or something? When the time comes to fight, we'll be ready. Never have I been a poet of war. If we found glory is not more than gleaming armor and feats of battle, then the enemy has won his first victory against us. And so I wrought poetry of the grandeur of the works of stone, of the beauty of blossoms and branch, and the love of young men and maidens, fair and proud. When I put history into verse, it was of our works and journeys and failings. But today, today is a day of war. It is close upon us as the breath in our lungs, and I would write a song about it. As you came upon me here, I was brooding on how to begin. I think I must fill my senses with things of dark, dread, and bloody. Ooh, will you help me with this? I help you with this. What are you seeking? What's your plan? It is your first time in Minas Tirith. Shame you couldn't see it in better days. If you would, go down amongst the soldiers of the second circle. Listen there to the sound of their training. Find for me a cold knife and a sweaty rag. Then go out into the fields as you are fit for such deeds and explore our ruined farmsteads. Find for me some charred wood and trampled wheat. Then go in amongst the foes and hear the death rattles of their dying soldiers. Observe for me the fell gleam of their eyes of one of their captains as he fights and falls. <clears throat> yes, oh, when you have done what I ask, return to me and I shall make a poem fit for war. Perhaps I'd better find those fight hiding spots first. This place doesn't look very suitable. Looks like someone already took this location and hid some jewels here. Really? Is that a place to hide jewels? Good grief. I'm surprised someone hasn't made off with it already. Personally, I think all of these hiding places are a bit ridiculous. Looks like someone already took this location and hid some poetry here. Well, someone did like the idea of hiding poetry. Though, 
I still say it's in a rather conspicuous location for my taste. But that's what she asked for. Three of those locations are taken, and the fourth isn't exactly the most secure hiding place I've ever seen. The city may not be as bright as it once was, but it still is strong. Only one location is not already occupied? I suppose it'll have to do. And I suppose you want me to move the paintings there? Oh, I cannot put that burden on you. No, no, no. It is something that I must carry myself. Also, if you dropped one, I would never be able to forgive you. Well, there is that slight little detail. Well, we at least we've taken care of that. I suppose that means I need to head down to the second circle. Ah, this looks like a good place to search for those things. I can hear the soldiers training all around. Oh, here's a sweaty rag. I just need to find a cold knife. Not sure where I could find one of those. Oh, perhaps in this. Oh no, there's one right over here. I found a cold knife. Hello there. We can only hope that the Rohirrim will arrive before it's too late. Ah, uh, what have you got there? A warden, is it? Um, perhaps you can help us to settle a matter. Hmm. You see, my friend and I can't come to an agreement. We've argued back and forth and then forth and back, and I'll confess that in a heated moment, Talris here has even wagered good Gondorian gold if he should be proven wrong. <laughs> Come now, you'll hear us out, won't you? Alright. What'd you say? We can only hope that the Rohirrim will arrive before it's too late. Do you see the pier up there? Or the ship's prow, as some of us call it? Well, a man told me that the winds race up its face so fiercely you couldn't walk off of it if you tried. You'd be shoved back. It stands to reason, does it not? All right. We can only hope that the Rohirrim will arrive before it's too late. What a load of fish guts! First off, the winds clearly run along the pier down from the tower and fall down to the land below. Winds going up? Ha! Doesn't rain fall? Has someone ever seen rain fly up the pier? No, my friends. The winds go down, not up. So say I, and you say otherwise. How shall we settle this? There's gold in your pockets, Tarnus, and that should really be mine. What do you say about this? Our warden friend here carries a chicken up to the pier's end and tosses it off. If it comes back, you've won. Down it goes, I've won. Yes, all right. I'll save you the chore of carrying a hen straight from the first circle. There are some hens in the court of Airnil up in the third circle. Go for one of those. Really? Carry a chicken from the third circle all the way up to the pier. Oh, joy. Ah, I think I found the chickens. There you go. Hmm. The golden chicken. There we go. Now let's head up. Let's, see, let's go up to the fourth circle. Up and around. Just three more circles to go since the prow is on the seventh circle and let's get this chicken around as quickly as possible I'm surprised it hasn't f jumped off yet or anything like that there you go and I just have to remember where is this ramp again actually 
down this way. Can't be too far. Oh, there it is, right over there. I have to remember where all these crazy ramps are, right? Now that's up to the right third, fourth. Now this is the fifth circle. Two more circles after this. I guess it's back down this way. Sort of zigging and zagging and zigging and zagging with a chicken that seems to be carrying chicken and I notice the thing is slowly ticking down. Pro that's probably when the chicken flies off. So I gotta be quick about this. Well, maybe not too quick, but it'll help. Alright, here's the next ramp. Good. And up to the sixth circle. I've certainly been up here on plenty of occasions for the various members of the council. There we go. And now finally, we need the ramp to the final circle. Ah, here we are. To the gate of the citadel. All the way up here. Oh, turn around this way. Slightly different in the way things are configured when you get to the top. around here and now let's get to the prow and this chicken is probably not going to appreciate what I'm about to do to her so let us go and get over there quickly well at least we're speaking about a chicken they should be able to slow their fall enough if well, unless it's a really really strong downdraft then things could be a little bit of a problem but here we go. You drop the chicken and it sails downwards, squawking loudly, but it is slowed by an unmistakable updraft. So we have an updraft, but the chicken does go down. I've come down to the first circle to see what happened to the chicken, and is this the same chicken? The chicken appears somewhat windblown and disgruntled, but otherwise unhurt. Well, that's good to hear. Now I suppose I need to go up and settle that wager. Ah, but the warden and keys needs to speak with me. Everyone's on edge waiting for something to happen. With so many people evacuating the city, many homes have been left empty. Unfortunately, there are some honorless thieves about that have taken the empty homes as an opportunity, and there aren't enough guards to take care of it. Would you mind looking for some of these foul thieves and teaching them a lesson, and returning the stolen goods that they have found on them while you're at it? Alright, I'll find out if I can find any opportunistic thieves about. I thought I heard someone slinking around back here. Let's see if there are any thieves around. Oh, oh, what are you up to? We won't let our city fall. Mind your business. They weren't coming back for their property anyway. Uh, how do you know that? Okay, okay, just take it and let me go. Really? something also suspicious back here. Heard anything suspicious around here? Well, maybe it was the sweet... No! Oh, hello! Every minute feels like hours. We can only prepare so much. Oh, uh, um... Uh, these, these are mine! Yeah, yeah, yes! I was just, uh, uh, moving this stuff! Yes! No, this was my chance! Yeah, this is your chance. I'll show you what chance it is. <sighs> I'm not sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've got to find nine of these clowns? You would think that no one will go about stealing stuff next to all those soldiers who are practicing, but apparently somebody is. Mordor will regret challenging the walls of Minas Tirith. Big mistake, friend. I advise you to walk away while you still can. You're gonna regret finding me. You're gonna regret challenging me. Just saying. 
Stop, stop, stop! Uh, just, just take the goods! There was an updraft, but not strong enough to push the chicken up. We can only hope that the Rogarine will arrive before it's too late. Clearly, I have won. We said that it f if it fell, the wager was mine, did we not? Oh, bah! The gulls can take the rules. You swore there was an updraft, old friend, and it is plain that there was one. Here, the wager is yours. Well, Pine Leaf, it's a good thing you did not jump off yourself, though that would likely have won me the bet. Still, I thank you all the same. <laughs> this is your first time in Minas Tirith. Shame what? you couldn't see it in better days. Well, you're a good sort. I would share a drink with you if I had aught worth drinking, but alas, Tawaras here drank the last of our rut got. Uh, not rot, rot gut? Uh, that doesn't exactly sound like something that I'd like to drink. Is this your first time in Minas Tirith? Shame you couldn't see it in better days. Don't listen to that scoundrel. First of all, it was he who drank the last of it. But never mind it. Rotgut is not for the likes of you. Why, I have never met anyone but as fisherfolk of Aethir who could stomach it. Well, with a name like that, I wonder why. We can only hope that the Rohirrim will arrive before it's too late. Tawaras, you do grievous wrong to our warden friend, a seasoned adventurer who could clearly stomach Rotgut, even if most could not. Why, I dare say we are in disagreement once again. Let us wager on it, and perhaps I could win my gold back. Hmm. Piney, find me what I need, and I will make you some rot gut. If luck were to have it, you will find all the ingredients in this very tier, so I expect your trip to be swift. Uh, first, I'll need dregs from ale. Dregs from ale? Uh, yes, which you might find at the Splinter Shield. And then... I need hot ash from a brazier of some healer's caustic. You're... Hold it. Dregs? You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Oh, uh, which is powdered and pungent tincture used for closing... Well, you need to find three dregs of ale, two brazier ash, and a healer's caustic. They must be pulling my leg. Frazier Ash. That doesn't exactly something sound like something that I want to have inside of a drink. Just telling you. They're definitely pulling my leg. Ah! Here's a healer's cow stick. Hmm. Nah. That can't possibly be an ingredient to any form of drink. They are definitely pulling my leg. Ah, here we go. Ale dregs. Is there any more of that stuff around here? Do I really want to find any more of this stuff? Not particularly, but... It's a quest. A weird quest, but a quest. I think this should be enough. Well, technically, it's way too much. Here you go. This is your first time in Minas Tirith. Shame you couldn't see it in better days. This will do the trick, Pine Leaf. Now, mind you, the ashes here are not quite what they are in his ear. Never mind the difference in the ale dregs, but it will have to do. Yes, it will have to do. There, now it's made. Go on, have a taste. This is going to be the worst drink I've had in my life. I think I should drink sip instead of... The rot gut burns and roils within you, bringing tears to your eyes and making you stagger. Right. 
The enemies of men approach. I well, hope you are prepared. Well, the warden can drink some rot gut and stay standing perhaps, but one step and down you'll go. Let us put you to the test. Walk over to the left archer, tap him little soldier, and tell him he's aiming well. Then over to the right, walk between the last two ranks of men there, and la last... Why? Climb up to the barrel there and give us a wave. Do all that and I'll confess that you can hold your rot gut after all. Tap the left archer on the soldier, walk between the last two ranks of men, and then climb on top of the barrel. Huh? Well, well I am not able to see a single thing. S to the left archer and tap him. Archers? What archers? Oh, okay. There, there are archers right over there. Alright, here, here's the left archer and tap him. You managed to find an archer soldier and say something to him about his aim. Alright, fine. Walk between the last two ranks of men. Walk between the last two ranks of men. Right, you manage to brush oh, against only a few soldiers. You stagger between the lined up men and they climb on top of the barrel. This is where, where it's asked you to wave. Alright, I'll wave. Alright. Huh. Well, I hope we're done with this silly nonsense. We can only hope that the Rohirrim will arrive before it's too late. Ha! <laughs> the Warden's done it! Uh, Tawaris, and this time the wager is mine. I'll have my gold back, thank you. You're welcome back for a drink with us at any time, Piney. And do not worry, the Rotgut will wear off uh, soon, and, soon and the headache will follow will be fleeting, though quite strong. Wonderful. Alivey! Clear-headed again? We'll have to find that out in the next episode of The Complete Fine Leaf.